this is Tiffany from the Faber-Castell Design Memory Craft Design Team and we're here this week to show you how to use the Design Memory Craft products along with the Penny Black products. So I have this card using some melted paper crafters crayons techniques along with a stencil and stamp from Penny Black. Let's begin! For this tutorial, you'll need the following Penny Black supplies, including the Flower Dance Stencil, the Sunshiny Hello Thank You Stamp, and then from Faber-Castell Design Memory Craft, you'll need a Gelato's Double Scoop in Blueberry, regular Gelato in Lavender, Lime, an assortment of Paper Crafters Crayons, this super fine Cobalt Green Pit Pen, the Stamper's Big Brush Pen in Pink Matter, Whipped Spackle, the Spatula or Palette Knife, and then I'm using my Clover Mini Iron, and I have it set on high, so be really careful. That's why I have a trivet. So let's begin. So right now I have a 3 and 3 quarters by 5 inch card front that I'm going to run some Whipped Spackle through a stencil on. So you just place your stencil down carefully. Take the back of your palette knife or spatula and gently run it through. You want to make sure you don't use a lot of back and forth motions but more like patting it down. So while your whip spackle is drying, we are going to make a gelato spray mist. And I'm just going to use a little bit. I made an orchid spray mist, which is what I used for my card. I'm going to make it a little bit darker just so that you can see it a little bit better. So when you make a spray, you want an eighth of an inch or anywhere from one sixteenth of an inch to an eighth of an inch of product. So this much to about that much. And I'm, I'm only going to use a little. And I like to use this method where you actually color it down into a container. This is a little IKEA plastic container. You can use your palette, you can use anything that you have on hand, a little cup, a bowl. So now that I have it shaved down, I'm going to transfer just a tiny bit of water using my dropper. This dropper is in the Gelato's Toolkit and the Gelato's Mist Maker Kit. And I'm just going to sort of make a thick paste. And now you have a custom spray mist. Another thing you can do while your whipped spackle is drying is melt some of these crayons to create a melted crayon border. So I'm starting with a 5 inch square card base and I'm going to start with my darkest color first. You're just going to color onto that surface of the iron. Let the crayon melt up. It'll melt up really good. And then you're just going to go back and forth to create a border. And there we go. So now we're going to use this stencil a second way and using starting off with a very clean stencil so I washed off all that whip spackle we're going to lay it back down where we had it and because that whip spackle is a matte medium you can use gelatos on top of it or other mediums so I'm going to start with my lime gelatos mist Now you can just set that aside to dry or you can heat set it. 
Once this is dry, you're just going to take your super fine pit pen in cobalt green and just outline the whipped spackle stencil part. So this is what it looks like outlined. It sort of adds a little bit more definition and shadow. Now we can add some more melted wax accents and I am going to add a wax border to the two five inch long sides. And you can make it as messy or as clean as you like. And now I'm going to add some little faux enamel dots or wax crayon dots. And all you do is you take your whatever crayon you want to use. I think I might go with this green. And you color onto the tip and then you just let it drop down. So now you just adhere that card front to your card base and you're ready to stamp your sentiment. And again, we're using the Sunshiny Hello Thank You stamp. And I'm going to use my Pink Matter Stamper's Big Brush Pen. Again, this was Tiffany from the Faber-Castell Design Memory Craft Team here to show you a card combining Penny Black products along with the Paper Crafters crayons. Thanks for watching. Uh -huh.